Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome back to Wolf and Rabbit. Previously, we decided to run from the rabbit, because if she caught us, good things did not happen. So we gotta go to the basement. And hopefully not die. He wore the gas mask. Jeez, the mask works. There's no more dizziness now. It must mean the particles are pretty heavy. Where they don't seem to have an effect on us. What's that? Oh, it's just a mushroom. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's like a bit of a maze in here. A wriggling yellow mushroom. These mushrooms seem unappetizing. Wiggling red spotty. Blue spotty. Purple gray. Mushrooms seem deadly. Is there supposed to be like another room in here? Maybe I went past it. Here. There's a worn pulley on the lo lock in the door. So it's a password lock. But how can I get the password? Boy the... Are you looking for the password? What? The mushroom talked. What a fuss. We all know mushrooms talk. I... I don't know how to refute that. We know the password you need. Oh, that's good then. Tell me. No way to let it go so easily. Do us a favor, please. That sounds troublesome. Like a puzzle or some kind of form of gameplay. Hmm. It's a mutual help. Come here, come on. Bro, you are a good guy. I'm not. Make it quick, what do you want? We like to change our positions. Change places. We've been quarreled on it for a long time. Hem, you silly mushrooms. In short, please change our position to one that can satisfy us all, then we'll tell you the password to the lock. So anno such annoying mushrooms. I wonder if you'll make a fine soup. Probably not, actually. Hmm. Some of us are poisonous. You'll make a fine fertilizer for mushrooms, then. Screw it. I'm in. Here it's complaint. This mushroom looks different from the other ones. I wonder if it's poisonous, sir. Are you blind? I'm not poisonous. I'm an umbrella. The wriggling yellow mushroom. Here's complaint. I hate poisonous mushrooms. Seriously, they have no taste. They know nothing besides our poisons. Poison. Red spotty. That yellow guy's annoying. That's the so-called self-righteousness. We poisonous mushrooms don't share any similarity with it. Here's this one's complaint. Don't leak it out. The mushroom beside me seems to have something in its spore. I mean, its brain. Don't let its methods defile my beauty in blue, please. Are you claiming that this one's actually poisonous? I will not tell you the password if you even bring me here. Okay, that's how we switch them out. This is really the only other way to do it. There. Oh, that will work. We are satisfied with your current positions. Thank you, kind wolf boy. Alright, tell me the password then. They're really annoying. The password is four digits. The first one is zero. The square of the summary of the third digit and the fourth digit equals the second digit. They're in descending order and... Enough of these! Tell me the password, I'll smash you all. Come, come, I'll tell you directly. It's 0921. It'd be pretty easy to figure out. That is what it should be. 0921, I'll remember it. There. 
You took off the gas mask. So here's the abandoned utility room. It's so dark. I wonder if there's something lurking around. Hmm? When did I stop considering Aunt Scary? Some layers with addresses or names of the troops. Troops. Well, she was part of the war. Combat doctor. Old newspaper clip on the floor. The photo on looks familiar. You tried to read the headline. Special plans for Major General Grace have received extensive attention. Major General? They expected to play a major role in battles. It, it is... Would you be considered a general though? You seem like you're head of research in that situation. Unless that's a translation thing. An old short cabinet. There's some cobwebs inside. Portrait of a young girl of cat ears. Why is it hung here? Broken trash can like my soul. Empty flower pot like my soul. Got a feeling that will grow this thing though. Like my soul. Tired wide double cabinet. I mean coats in the cabinet. Like my soul. Why not just throw them away? Reference materials from years of history in the cabinet. Like my soul. All in the mess. Nothing useful here. Like my soul. There's some medicines whose labels have faded. Like my soul. I don't really know among them anyway. There's some rusty tools in the cabinet. Like my soul. All those brown stains are not blood. Please be not. Some research papers covered in dust. Like my soul. How many strength researchers had it? Her maid on the blank. Broken cabinet? Stuck, don't feel anything useful inside anyway. Like my soul. We're getting them all out! Let's get them all out here. What are we even looking for again? Box. Search around rummage. Touch something cool. Wait, the shape, the feeling. It's a key. It should be what I'm here for. Splendid, now let's get out of this spooky room. Put the gas mask on. Or the gas mask. Alright, let's head back. I guess I've got the false key. False key? Well done. I know I won't stumble on you. Your face looks tight. That's rare. What? Th what does that mean? Gulp. I've got it. So you read that old stuff. Are they... for real? They are. That's what I have been doing. Chemical warfare? For what? That day, my mom, I... The world where adults live is complicated and cruel. But... I understand your feelings, but it makes no sense for me to make an apology to you. Come here, let me tell you a story about me. It's been a while since my last time to recall the past. I was a doctor, a military doctor. I learned medical skills to cure and to save, not to be recruited because of my sensitivity to plants. I was confused and I resisted, but I can't stop my research. Glory for my motherland, I found myself moments of peace by these words. I know it clearly. The best that I hold was not to save, but to kill. I saw people struggling on the battlefield, their pains whipped at my heart. 
I was having nightmares every night, seeing innocent people crying for my help, while all I had to do was to kill them with my medicines. I can't accept it. I was happy that my research work is successful, that the hole in my heart expand day by day. I tried hard to save, but it just reminded me that I was so weak. It ruined my body in no time. It was a chronic poison which gradually erodes my bodily functions. I knew no matter how I treat it, I would only have a few years remained. It was when I was to give up on my life and the pains that Marcia came for me. And such a small and vulnerable girl was trying to survive tenaciously. I tried my best to keep her. Meanwhile, I returned to my private life. And I built this house in the forest. The home to me and to Marcia. We live a simple life here. There won't be any visitors more than villagers coming occasionally from nearby to buy some medicines. I felt contented here. This is the life I wanted. I was cultivating herbs, petting plants, taking care of Marcia, taking care of the medicine and herbology I was once proud of. And it won't be long for me to leave, leave Marcia alone in this lonely world. I have to pay for my sin in some way, so maybe in this way, there's no way to run and no way to hide. I didn't tell her about the poison in my body, in case she might be too worried. She didn't know the tobacco I smoked every day plays a role in inhibiting toxicity, and probably getting a bit high. I knew it could come any day, but it still arrived too suddenly for me. When I knew that I died, I felt a relief. I've paid for my sin in a way. I deserved it. But Marcia, she didn't let it go, but refused to accept my death. I guess that's why I'm still here hovering around. The kid has backlogged much panic and pain in her body, constantly depressing and repressing, making who she is now. I'm afraid it will finally lead to a tragedy. I really don't want to see that. I'm not asking for forgiveness, but I beg you, please help Marcia. I'm not sure what she was planning for, but it seems she has gone too far. That is really complicated. Okay, I see. I will go and find out what she's been doing. Then give her a punch and wake her up. That's the old-fashioned Captain Falcon way. Thank you, Carol. Please be gentle while punching. She is just a little girl. That's a metaphor. So are you going with me into Marcia's room? Uh, I'll pass. I will stay here. But why? The child raised a... Privacy consciousness. These years, I've not let enter her room. And I promised. Wow, that rule sounds cool. I'm not sure, but I'm feeling jealous. Well, the truth is that there is no smoke in a room for my spiritual body. Well then, I will go by myself. As expected, it's the Marcius. Just go in this room and nothing will ever go wrong. So here is Marcia's room. I smell the aroma of a girl. I mean, you are a wolf boy. You should have good smelling skills. You see a lovely dress inside through the glass. She must be cute in this dress. See where your mind is going? There is a syringe on a table. That's the same syringe I saw Marcy was holding. Yes. I might use it. Lovely gizmos. Fendi mirror for girls. Just like a common girl will use. Cute toys. Only girls like them. And weebs. Didn't open. The paints are already dry. 
There's nothing on the drawing board. Like my soul. A book of graceful handwriting lies on the table. Is it Marcia's diary? I know I shouldn't, but now I need clues. You flip several pages over. May 8th. I made the light some ice cream today. She likes it very much. Grandma blamed me for giving her something not scheduled. She finished remaining ice cream and looked fairly happy. I must let the light be more careful next time in order not to be found. June 12th. It's a good day. I asked Grandma to pick the fruits in the forest with me. <laughs> Dang, Auntie looks cool. Oh, the sunglasses and the pipe. It's like... It's like cool with Gandalf. I mean, Gandalf is cool, but you know, it's got sunglasses. Gandalf with sunglasses. Grandma got too lazy to move after we went halfway. She smoked tobacco incessantly. I can accept that smell in some way, but I can't accept her decadence. The fruits in summer are the best. June 26. Today is the anniversary of my adoption. Grandma baked me a cake specially. It is simple without any decoration, and it tasted completely different from what we've ever tried in the town. I felt super happy. Grandma's fierce and strange, but I know she loves me best. Repel came to visit Grandma again. He gave me a handmade pearl necklace. Although he always looks gloomy, he's actually very gentle indeed. He seems to like light a lot. The necklace he gave the light is much more delicate than mine. Weird guy. August 20th. It's very hot this summer, so I tend to stay in the cold storage. As a result, I caught a cold. Grandma looked very worried, and she came to my bed frequently. I suddenly started to miss the days when I went to her room asking her to tell me a story. September 23rd, it's becoming cold. Grandma becomes too lazy and smokes too much. Sometimes she looks so far away in a daze. I tried to discourse her from smoking, discourage her. So much, but she did not listen at all. She's really stubborn. I could only let it go. October 8th, Grandma bought me a brand new red cloak with a hood. You know, because I'm a fan of Red Riding Hood. I'm happy to wear like the little Red Riding Hood in the fairy tale. Grandma then told me that I should go to school for Sharp Face. She has contacted for a boarding school and is about to send me here in days. I'm sad. Does Grandma not want me to be with her all the time? What she had taught me is enough for me to learn. I decided not to speak for her for the time being as a protest. Although she was sad, which makes me sad as well, I will not leave her anyway. Ah! I accidentally skipped the final page! The date. She says it's a sickness. Well, the book at the corner of the study. So there didn't know such a book in this room. I better search the study again. We can go for it real quickly. Okay, here we go. October 15th, Grandma got sick. She's very sick, but I will not give up. I will cure her. I remember there's a book about the sickness in the course study. I will do it. Okay, I've read it before. Most of the pages are about black magic or something stranger. So as I suppose, did Marcia find a spell of resurrection? The book has lost a lot of pages. I have no idea what this is for. It makes me feel terrible. Put the book back. Marcia wrote in a diary that Grandma got sick, but I will save her. Save me? That can't be worse than... She refused to accept the truth and is cheating herself. She referred to a book and went in the corner of the study, which may help. Damn, no! The manuscript of the black magic. I kept it as a joke book. It does involve resurrection of the dead. Did the child choose to try the necromancy? That's... What? May it actually work? I mean... There's magical plants and magical mermaid people here, I'm, I'm sure. Of course no. There's no way for the dead to come back to the life. Haven't you seen Full Metal Alchemist? Forcing a body to move and only turn into living dead. It'd be worse if she actually made it. What should we do now? Stop her. She must have prepared some witchcraft. Destroy them where you may meet something look like something looking like a magic circle. Okay, I'm on my way. This is a cold storage, I feel a little nervous, but I have an anesthetic syringe anyway. I give her an injection if necessary. I have to calm down. So here's the door. Door dream room and looks dense. There's a password entry in the door. It seems a password to the door in their home. There are always dates in the month and day. 
June 26. That's their anniversary. Correct. Yep. There's no way to run now. Gosh, so many cabinets. Is she actually there? I bet. Oh, there's Auntie's body. I mean, of course, it being cold storage, preserving it. That witchcraft looks so evil. Did she make them herself? What is she doing? Casting a spell. As if she has not noticed me. Maybe I can go roundabout. Give her an injection by her back. Make her sleep so I can deal with the witchcraft. I'm so scary now. What's happening? Did I make that, Grandma? What? Grandma? Oh God, zombies! Turn on the house! We have a sneaking mission. Go, go! No! I call that a very aggressive sneaking. Considering the temperature, she might catch a cold that's lying here. Sorry, please sleep for a while. I'll deal with this witchcraft quickly. I wonder how long she'll sleep. You ran out of the syringe. She's cold and is covered with yellow flowers. Odd. I've been forgetting about all this time. It does hurt to remind. Rest in peace now. I will stop her. There's an old page in Resurrection for Necromancy. <sighs> Defraud her. Might as well tear you into pieces. Marcy was picking flowers with it by that time. Give me some potions. Locker. Locker. Just sleep with a frown. Flashing with light. What's that? It's not hot. I can't blow it out. But again, let's see what's something else first. Looks like a liver. Crash it. I need a container for this. Looks like a heart. A condensed blood. This smells that. Some of this was for me. I need a container for this. Bottles. Medicines. Medicines. Bucket. Now I need you to hold on to those terrible things. Whoa. Okay. For a second I thought she was gone. I was like, wait. Or deliver into the bucket. Pour the heart into the bucket. This should be half condensed blood. Put that in the bucket. I've collected all I can collect. The next step is to wipe out the magical circle. It looks to be pained by blood. Some part of it already. Let's see what this bucket in front of mop by the way, or... Hmm? Yana's yeah, not here. Time to look at the things you didn't allow me to look at. Wardrobe. Card on the floor. Small card and books and papers. Dang, there's nothing juicy here at all.
I guess it's fine, just let them deal with these. Indirectly, that plant does get to take a bite of me. Well, my blood anyway. I hate this place. You again? You need more tentacles? You're not easily satisfied. Nay, I just want you to help me deal with some. Some what? Here, I brought it for you. Well, it looks weird, it smells bad, it smells like necromancy, but it might be edible. So I will take it. Take the bucket happily. Thanks. Mop. Mop. I can use it. It's too dry, I better make it wet first. Put water. What mop? Okay, so let's go back. Now she's the way the magic circle out. Of course, we won't stop her exactly from doing it again. Yeah, look at that. Look at that half-assed weapon job. I suppose if we were somehow to disable the cold storage aspects of this room, that would also work. So it would melt the ice, destroying the circle, and making that body basically be unrevivable. Not like it's revivable in the first place, you know, it's a zombie either way, but still. <sighs> That's all. Would you be enough? Aunt. Uh oh. So you used two needles. Grandma. What? What have you done? Run, boy, run. <laughs> Don't need to tell me twice. Whoa, 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 you were right behind me. You were right behind me. Blah! All right, here we go again. Come on, lay off, lay off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Grandma, Grandma, tell me a story. Who allowed you into my room? Get back to your room and go to bed. I'm too afraid to sleep alone. It scared me to cry. Fine, then. Pick a book for me. I've brought it with me. <laughs> I heard the story's famous. The little match girl, well... They both flew upwards in brightness and joy, far above the earth. Where did they go? They were with God. Is it where the dead goes? Dead? What does it mean? When a man die, the death will take him away from the world forever. You will never see him again, no matter how much you cry for it. It sounds terrible. Will I die someday? Will Grandma die as well? I will. No one can escape from death. We all die someday. No! Don't die, Grandma. Don't leave me. I'll try reading Act Full Metal Alchemist. You've been warned. Girl, I don't want to leave Marcy alone as well. But you will experience this. It's not about your will. Though I suppose you should be grown enough when it comes. That you died too soon. What was that? The memories!
Grandma? Grandma? My poor little rabbit. Grandma? Don't look back. You should remember those who love you. No matter where they are, they will always love you. Even if they disappear from the world. The love will keep on. It's like the stars, shining far beyond where you can't touch. It's like the air, surrounding you all the time while you can't see. I don't want you to be so sad, but you have to accept all these. They are the merry and the misery that you must experience. This is how life goes. You may lose, you may hurt. There's no way to run, and no way to hide. But girl, it will not last forever. You will meet some new friends and encounter your other half, cultivating your emotions and in harvesting your memories. You will recover from my absence. Now is the time. I have to go. May you become stronger as you grow. This is the future I've been hoping to see. This is my last goodbye. Thanks to Destiny for gifting me this opportunity. The biggest luck I had in my life is having met you. Farewell, my beloved little rabbit. Grandma! It's all over now. I'm about to leave. So, will you? Well, take care. Don't worry about me. I can go with whatever I meet. I'm going now. Take good care of yourself. Bye then. Don't you hang on to me. You tried to stab me multiple times. You're quite successful in quite a few dead ends. Carol, would you like... Stay with me. And Wolf and Rabbit. An achievement has like a little sprite of them together. Hmm, it's the past? There's Young Wolf. I'm still trying to debate what animal you are. Somehow I'm leaning towards some kind of cat, like, like a lioness or something, but... You could even be a bear. I mean, I don't know. Those ears are very vague. This was the war. What's those photos? Is this current? They look kind of young compared to what they are, but maybe it's just the way they're drawn. Maybe they're supposed to be that small. Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass Hero, and that was it for Wolf and Rabbit. Or Natsutopia. I suppose I shouldn't say that, because I might get the Disney lawyers on me, just even for mentioning it in the video. But, so, this is, a, this is an interesting game, and it's not because the plot is necessarily interesting, but how you would think of its quality is interesting because there's, there's a sound, sound foundation there of an RPG Maker horror game. And, you know, this was in the past a little bit more, when the, the, the kind of standards were a little bit lower, um, you know, back when there was a big RPG Maker game rush and all the YouTubers were playing it and everyone was playing them then I feel like this would probably be ranked a much higher. Obviously, standards are higher now for games in general. Um, but aside from that, there's nothing particularly annoying about the game. 
There's no general rule of flaws, except for maybe a little pacings off at a few parts. Uh, and the, re the real biggest thing is, of course, the translation is... Sometimes it's pretty decent, even compared to the creator's past games. And other times it's quite jarring and hilarious. I, I suppose there's some charm within that itself. But it's definitely a storyline and... I feel like when a translation's off, it affects kind of everything down a little bit. Like the pacing feels a little bit more off and this. Because there's a little bit less motivation sometimes. Because you're trying to like... Your brain has to spend some time processing what you're reading a little bit. So it pulls you out of the immersion. But the, the concept, you know, of... I, I'm 100% sure it's taken some influence from Zootopia. Because, you know, it's a little bit well-timed for that. But the, the concept of that... Predators and herbivores and blah blah blah. There was a war and everything. We don't quite know fully about it. We just know what happens in the background and does the setting. And that this wolf boy is kind of like, uh, you know, I just want to live, man. I'm a wolf. This is what we do. And he gets in, stuck in a house, and it's more than he can count for. That's pretty classic, uh, compelling horror plot. And then we have like a little bit of character to it. We have the the grandma. She doesn't really look like a grandma, but that's what she is, auntie. And then we have the rabbit and everything, and things are overall. Pretty cute, and a solid foundation to work from. Once again, like I said, translation causes some issues. Uh, and considering this has been a thing with all their games, and all their games that you've you been uh, pretty decent, in my opinion, anyway. I like their, their game series. I'm surprised they haven't got an editor for it yet. I, I don't know why. Uh, I can't give you an answer for that. But that, that's just how it is. So, certainly, I, I would say... I would say a, a good RPG Maker game overall. That's held back, like, once again, I'm reiterating myself many times by the translation. That's my final summary of it. I will add some other things. Quick note here. Uh, so you're not allowed... Well, you basically there's a request when you go into the bonus room. And it says, please don't show this in any recordings or anything, because I guess they want people to beat the game. I believe Mogako's games actually did have something similar to this. Um, but it wasn't an exact bonus room. It was like a password and you unlock some, like, unique art in, like, a zip file or something. And they also had, like, a little request, like, don't show us to anyone, this is for people who beat the game. So, you know, I'll, I'll honor that. Uh, but I will give a little bit of trivia that I read in there, and specifically, it was some backstory stuff. I recommend playing the game if you want to, like, know the full extent of the backstory. But the auntie is a capybara, which is... interesting. I can see how that is, because the whole thing, like, capybara is a very tame and supposedly friendly, and like even uh, carnivores and herbivores and predators and aggressive animals and whatnot, they all tolerate the capybara because the capybara is just that chill. So I can kind of see where the capybara is the, the, the doctor that's going on the battlefield and helping everybody. And also developing poison gas to, to murder them or something. <laughs> it gets a little over the top, but I like the story overall. But yeah, that is it for my playthrough of Wolf and Rabbit. So I'll see you guys later, and take it easy. Don't go wandering to any weird houses with rabbits or anything in them, because you'll, you know, life lesson. You, you may you may end up somewhere you don't want to be, and you get in some weird hijinks, and you gotta burn down the house. That's it my, for my, you know, post-video rant. I'll be feeling mighty awkward by this. Good. <laughs>